hello everyone today i am going to explain you how to build a simple url shortener with spring boot application the first step we need to create a spring boot application with the following gradle dependencies the first one is spring boot shorter web dependency the second one is spring boot shorter time lift dependency so these two dependencies we need to add it in the build.gradle file if you guys are using maven add those dependencies in the pom.xml file now i am going to generate a gradle project from spring initializer page in spring initializer page I am going to generate a Gradle project with Java and then the Spring Boot version 2.0.4. Here I am going to provide the group name as com.talktoamrezoran.projects. Artifact name I am going to provide URL shorter. So Spring Boot shorter web dependency and then Spring Boot shorter time lift dependency we need to add it in the application now i am clicking a generate project button it will download a project into your machine as a zip file now open that zip file i mean open the download path and extract the zip file now import this project in your eclipse in your Eclipse use import option in the import use Gradle STS project or use existing Gradle project option here I am going to use Gradle STS project now I am clicking a build model it will fetch a dependencies after import the Gradle project select your project path and click finish now the project dependencies will download into your machine it will take few minutes to download and import your project in your eclipse after the build successful your application has been imported successfully into your eclipse now go to the build.gradle file and open that file and then make sure the gradle dependencies is are are added or not the gradle dependencies such as spring boot shorter time lift dependency and spring boot shorter web dependency these two dependencies are added in the builder gradle file next step the main spring boot application class file make sure the main spring boot application class file has been annotated as at spring boot application in your project go to the main spring boot application class file the url shorter application so this is the main class file which is annotated by the at spring boot application create a controller request mapping that redirects to the index.html file now i am going to create a controller that controller will redirect the request to the index.html file now i am going to create a class file called shorten url controller shorten url controller so basically this class file should annotate it as at controller at controller so after adding this at controller annotation this class file will act as a controller now i am going to create a request mapping that request mapping will be redirects the request to the index.html file look at here i added the at request mapping annotation it's a default path and then this request will go to the index.html file so here i created one request mapping method the next step 
create an index.html file under templates directory with two HTML text boxes and one button. So this is the simple form which contains the two HTML box and then one button. So the complete HTML file will looks like this form. So your index.html file output should be like this. Okay, now I am going to create an index.html file under the templates directory. In templates directory, the templates directory you can find it under the source main resource folder. So here now I am going to create a HTML file. The HTML file class name should be I am going to use index.html file. This index.html file I am going to use the bootstrap 4 form to generate the basic HTML form. Here I added the simple form which contains two text boxes and one button by using bootstrap 4 forms. Okay. Here I added script main.js. I will explain you what we are going to be used in the main.js file okay i am going to explain about the main.js in the next step so far we added so far we added the form now create a main.js file and write a button click event on clicking the button send the full url to risk controller the shortened URL by using jQuery Ajax. Note the main.js file should be placed under the static folder and add it into the index.html file by using script tag. So I already added the main.js file by using script tag in the index.html file. Now I am going to create a main.js file under the static folder. Okay. And then I am going to create a click event method to send the full URL request to the API shorten URL. Here under the static folder now I am going to create a main.js file. main.js file has been created under the static folder oops sorry so the main.js file i created in the static folder now i am going to create a click event method by using jquery ajax to send the full url to the rest controller api shorten url look at here i use jquery ajax on clicking the button event i am sending a post request shorten url I am sending a full URL in the request body. So whenever I receive the success data, I will get the short URL. They mean the short form of the full URL. Okay. So we created the Ajax request for on clicking button event. Now I am going to create this shorten URL REST API. I will explain you in the next steps. This is the jQuery Ajax we created now to send a full URL in the request for the shorten URL API. Next, now I am going to create a private method to generate a random characters. So this is the method will generate a random character to shorten your URL. So this method will help you to create a shorten URL. For example, every shorten URL should contain some unique random characters. So that unique random characters, I am going to generate it by using this method. Now I am going to create a method in the class file. Now I am going to create a class the name is url shorter rest controller 
so this class file will act as a risk controller of your application now i am importing the at risk controller annotation here as i explained you below here i created the simple private method to generate a random characters okay so this is the method to generate a random characters this method will use to store the shortened url so every random character should have the full url the next step i am going to create a model to set and get the full url and short url the model should like this so the full url and then the short url so this model i am going to create it now so in the application i am going to create a class called shorten url this class file should contains the two attributes such as full url and short url and also i generated the setter method and getter method for these two attributes now create a risk controller and write a shorten url rest api to create a short url by using random characters already we created a risk controller class file and we created the private method to generate the random characters now i am going to write a rest api with the url pattern as shorten url okay so look at here in this class file i created a shorten url post method api this post method api will call the random character method and then it will create a short url so every random character should have the shorten url object okay this shorten url object will contains the full url and then the short url after that i am sending a http status code okay to the client with the shorten url object in the shorten url object contains the full url and then the short url okay now i am going to create this shorten url api and then this shorten url i am storing in the hash map so in the hash map every random character should have the shorten url object in the shorten url object contains full url and then the short url look at here i created the hash map object which store the every random character should have the shorten url object and also i created the rest api the post method api which contains the request body shorten url inside that method i call the get random character method it will give you a five digit random character string okay now i am going to store the shorten url i mean create a shorten url object for the full url and i am going to store it in the shorten url list look at here now i am going to write a set short url method to create a short url by using random characters and putting a short url in the hash map so this method will create a short url by using the random character and then the short url object will be stored into the hash map okay look at here i call the method set short url and then i am sending a random character and then the short and url object in this set short url method i created a short version of the url by using this random character and then i added that short url object in the hash map by using the random character i added that now look at here in the short url we created the url the short url such as localhost colon 8080 the path is yes so now i am going to create a another one get api which contains the uri pattern yes Uh, that uri should accepts the random character as a path variable okay so whenever the short url is calling i am getting the random character from the path variable 
if the random character has been mapped in the i mean is stored in the ash map and then i am getting a short version url okay so look at here now i am going to add it now created the api the get method api the short version of get method api so look at here the step 11 is write a redirect controller rest api to redirect the request to full form url the full url by using short url from the ash map so here now i am going to create the get method api the uri pattern is yes and then this api should accept the random string as a path variable so whenever i am getting a random string as a path variable i am get, getting the short url object i mean the full url object by using the shorten url list ash map okay so whenever the user clicks this short url the control will come here so by using the random string i am getting a full url and then i am redirecting the control to the full url so look at here response dot send redirect method i use to redirect the request to the actual full url look at here i created the api the short form api with the random string as a path variable so whenever user clicks the short url this api will call so by using this random string i am getting a full url from the short and url list ash map so the request will be redirected to the actual full url response dot send redirect of the full url and then for this response dot send redirect i use http servlet response now i am going to take a build of this application by using the command gradle clean build okay so far we completed now i am going to take a build i used gradle so i am taking a build by using the gradle clean build command if you guys are using maven then use the maven command maven clean install to take a build after the build successful in the gradle you can find the jar file under the build lips directory but in the maven you can find the jar file under the target folder look at here build is successful now i am going to run the jar file under the build and lips directory you can find the jar file under build lips directory I started the jar file by using the command java iphone jar and then the jar file name look at here the tomcat has been started on the port 8080 okay so look at here in the browser it the url localhost colon 8080 and then you can find the form like this full url and then the short url now i am going to take a full url from the w3schools.com this is the full url now i am going to give the full url in the full url text box now i am clicking the button click here to get the short url so look at here i got the short url of this full url so now i am going to hit this url in the another tab now the request will be redirected to the full controller okay so look at here also we have a spring initializer web page assume this is the full url now i am getting a short version url so by using this short version url i am hitting into the web browser this request will redirect into the start.spring initializer page, the start.spring.io page. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you very much.